Hello everyone. Now let's start the part two. In previous video, I explained part one with the three chapters. What is Gati, how to install Gati, and finalizing setup. In this video, I will focus on part two, chapter four, how to use Gati. Okay, how to use Gati, number one, how to, uh, in this video, I will explain how to add the devices such as router or switch or server like this. And number two, how to create a graph. Even if we are successful to add the devices, at first time we cannot see the graph. So if we want to see the graph for each the data from the each the devices we already configured, we need to use this kind of command. First, the username gapt and using the PHP we need to execute this file in the gapt directory polar.php. And if we the execute this file, this file will try to get the information from each devices we already configured. And we need to register the cron uh, file for gati here, like this. So per uh, five minutes, normally gati will execute this uh, PHP file and try to get information and after that we have to restart the cron daemon and need to register to each the level and number three how to view graph if we are successful to add the devices and create the graph now we can see each the graph for each devices and after that the how to use table normally the gut is supply many kinds of temp for each devices so let's try to use template as well Okay, first, now I just start the browser and try to log into Gati with uh, this domain name. Okay, uh, in my case, uh, username admin and password the same. Okay, first, if you are successful to log into Gati, you can see especially the two kinds of main menu, console and the graph. So now here, at first time, I will try to to select this one, create devices, this one. So in the devices, this one support the several from the template. In my case now, I will select general, the SNMP enabled host. Okay, then add. So you can see here, in my case, uh, Linux server. The description and the host name, 85 and our host template i will use this one generic snmp enabled host and uh, the others snmp of time okay and snmp button i will use button 2 and then community will be the public port number 161 and the time out like this this is the different and of that create okay now i'm also supposed to create this one so here now, associated graph template. So here, we can add the template for graph. So first, let's try to add, in my case, uh, Linux memory usage here. Okay, add. Okay, so here you can see, and uh, more things. Load average, add. And after that, uh, login in users. And uh, one more thing, process, you need the process, okay, add. Okay, then now, now I want to create the template, the graph template for this kind of things, the four kinds, the template. Okay, and after that, save. Okay, then let's go to the create the graph for this host. So now here I can see this was horse name, the Linux server, and here the create this kind of template, the graph, the memory usage, load average, users and process. And one more thing here, now try to create an interface as well from the data query. So in my case, I will use the Ethernet uh, zero. Okay, click and have that. This one too. 
Okay, then I select the four the grab template and select one data query for SNM. So now create. So here just create. So now this one will be the grade for the graph. And after that, let's click the graph, the trees. So here I can see only the default tree for the local host. So here let's add. So in my case, Linux server. Okay, create. Okay, then here now try to add the three items. So here let's add. So in my case here, I will select the graph, then the Linux server, the load average create. Okay, and the more graph, and now the login users create. Now you can see the two template and the one more uh, graph and the memory usage and the uh, graph here process create and after that graph and traffic ETH zero. so now I create five items here so save Okay, then here graph the management. We can see this kind of Linux server load average, login users, memory usage, process, and traffic like this. And if you the click devices, now the Linux server is a status unknown because this one now does not bring some of the data from this one. So here, at first time, we already selected this kind of information. So here, Associate the grab template. So now it's being the grab, it's being grab, it's being grabbed like this. So now you can see the graph here. Okay, let's go to the graph. So now this one has this one has already the graph for local host. So here we need to now I already create only the local host, but I want to see the here now this one default tree not, uh, but I want to see the Linux server. So, but here we cannot see the graph. So here, so if I click this one template here, any uh, any then though we can see the all kinds of the graph for each host the Linux server local host so now the local host there is no the graph but local host we can see the graph like this so to view the graph for the Linux server we need to sum the comment okay first here in the server part please check the SNMP protocol like this graph so in my case, in the server part, I already start the SNM. If you don't have, or well in my case, restart. SNMPD restart. Okay, and after that, okay, here, UDP protocol, the port number 1620 is so often or and oh sorry here uh, in my case now I already configured like this okay line number the 7475 so I already configured like this to local host name this one source and the network this one so in this case maybe we will use the, the public as a community so this name the community and the uh, this the community must be same okay so in the server part this is the server part please check your SNMP is working well or not like this 
okay then in the graph so now here i cannot see the graph even if i click okay this server load average okay then the before you can see before you can see this kind of graph you need to sum the comment first let's go to the share okay so here in this directory there are so many files especially here this one follow.php so here you need to okay got the and follow.php then you can see this kind of messages but now here uh, normally the got this the default time for the uh, for the bringing the uh, the data so normally it's a 300 in mean the five minutes so now I have only more 155 uh, second only the past from the total the 300 so after around 145 second later this one will try to the select what get uh, gather more data from the Linux server so if you are successful this command normally no 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 VAR uh, so in this directory especially RRA so here you can see this kind of data so this kind of data normally take what uh, the send this kind of data to this kind of the graph so if you don't have this kind of data you cannot see this kind of data so please check this kind of okay now if you do see the, this kind of command please check the, this directory here you can see this kind of data and the one more thing etc cron got so if you open this file so here the five power five minute this one got the username and the using the php file this one polo will the execute this file if you have the, any error just delete like this and after that we start and in my case i already on so none of two three four five is cron is activated then the cron daemon will maybe execute this uh, file and the uh, normally the gati will try to the, get the information for five minutes from each devices so if you are successful like this then in the Gati graph here so now I can see Linux server load average memory usage and the traffic and the login users and the process before this Linux server I already created the local host so after five minutes this Gati will get the information and the data from the data, uh, from the each the devices then show this kind of graph so now let's check the load average so load average has the five kinds daily informations and the weekly informations and the monthly and the yearly this one will show this kind of graph for each items such as like a load average login users and the process memory usage and traffic as well so if this one also will show this kind of the traffics if the time pass so now i show you how to add the devices and how to create graph and how to view graph and how to use the template if you are successful to see this kind of the graph then in the console please check your device now linux server is up and almost here any then there are two kinds 
So if we are successful to bring the each information from the each the devices we already configured, so here Linux server local host, then you can see status up like this. Okay, so far I show you how to use Gati, how to add devices and create a graph and how to view graph and how to use template as well. Thank you for watching this video and see you next video. God bless you.